All right, so I think we got everything um, set up here. Now I'm ready to go. Uh, today what I wanted to do is put together a quick video on uh, what's on my Um, you probably have an idea of what kind of music I like and what I'm listening to while running. Um, but the music that I'm listening to while running isn't necessarily the, the kind of music that I use to make running videos. And ultimately the big uh, reason for that is probably has to do mainly with copyright. So let's uh, go into my Pandora app um, and, see, and see what's in there. It used to be that uh, Pandora just showed you the, um, the stations and the ones you most recently used. So um, I have my stations listed in the order that I was most recently looking at them. And so uh, these are the stations that I've listened to just in the past uh, couple of days, this last week. The station that I always listen to almost every single run um, is definitely <laughs> Yellow Card. And now I've been listening to Yellow Card um, and if you see, you could see like it's now playing, but it was listened to today because I, def I definitely listened to it this morning while on my run. And I started listening to Yellow Card uh, back when I lived in St. Louis. So this would have been like early 2000s. And I was probably too old to be listening to Yellow Card back then. I fully admit that I have terrible, terrible taste in music. Um, and this is like, like the prime example of that. Um, I think Yellow Card fits into kind of like the uh, pop punk um, genre uh, along with bands say like Blink-182, uh, MXPX, uh, New Found Glory, Sum 41. Sum 41, oh, I, I listened to Sum, Sum 41, a uh, huge fan of them like right after college. This has been like 2001, 2002. Uh, 2003 so like ba bands like that um, this station basically has a lot of yellow card it has a lot of uh, fallout boy which I was also a huge fan of uh, we the Kings is on there frequently um, so that's what I generally listen to uh, while running uh, I feel like the yellow card album uh, death of the salesman or is that the name of the album or I'm not really sure um, but that that album I think which was a, their big one um, like every song on that album, I, I, I like to run to. Um, I make no apologies about that. Uh, after I'm done running, uh, when I come home, I usually uh, will finish my run and then I'll go walk the dog. And for that, I usually listen to uh, Chance the Rapper uh, station on Pandora. I'm a big fan of Chance the Rapper. Um, also on this station frequently is like Kendrick Lamar. Um, and then uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name now. Um, but uh, he was on Community, um, Childish Gambino. Um, surprisingly good. Surprisingly, good. sometimes I'm a little bit disappointed in his lyrics because um, they tend to get a little bit um, stereotypical for the genre, and I kind of expect more from him in a little bit. But anyway, uh, otherwise, I think the Chance the Rapper um, station is really good. Um, because it's like uh, hip hop, there's a lot of like Motown and gospel influence too in it. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, so when I'm commuting, when I'm walking the dog, that's usually what I'm listening to. If I'm not liking what's on uh, Chance the Rapper station, I'll listen to be listening to Most Def. Most Def is the first Pandora station I ever created and it's never been deleted. Um, so as long as I've had Pandora, I've been listening to Most I've been listening to Most Def since like the late 90s. Um, before he did that hip opera with Beyonce where Mostef was a um, 
detective of some sort. This was before he was on, was he on the Italian job? Uh, I've been a big fan of Most Def and Black Star um, before they became big to the extent that they're big. Um, but yeah, that, those are like my two main stations that I listen to. Every once in a while, I listen to the Tribe Called, Tribe Called Quest station. I haven't been listening to this station for a long time, uh, but uh, look at ads. <laughs> but I have been listening to it. Uh, I have been listening to Tribe for, for decades, um, but I recently re-added them as a station once the new album hit, and I thought it was pretty good. Nas also very good. Um, below that, let's see, these are some of like, below that are some of like the other people that I listen to every once in a while, just to kind of mix things up. Um, stations that I listen to relatively frequently, but um, not all the time to make it into that like top three. Um, Nero Radio, that's for a lot of like techno dubstep um, is what shows up on there. Jedi Mind Tricks, I like uh, more of like an East Coast style rap. That's where I'm from. That's what I grew up listening to. Uh, when I, when I, I mean, I grew up listening to whatever my parents put on, which was uh, Bible stations and classical music. Um, but uh, when I finally got to pick music, I was picking uh, rap, and Jedi Mind Tricks reminds me a lot of that, and there will be a lot of old school rap that kind of gets on there. Um, Sneaker Pimps, Craig Armstrong, uh, Dust Brothers. Dust Brothers are the ones that did the Fight Club soundtrack. Um, those are other ones that I'll listen to sometimes while running, um, sometimes while commuting, commuting uh, but it's more of like a down-tempo, slower uh, type of music, which sometimes is really good for heavy exercise and sometimes is not. Uh, Muse, I listened to that, it looks like four days ago. Uh, that's about pretty how often I'll listen to that station. I like uh, what they do. Um, if you're not familiar, familiar with Muse, they're kind of like rock opera. I feel like a lot of their albums could be um, like a Broadway show, like a stage show, um, the way that they're, they're set up. RJD2, uh, they're more kind of like down-tempo stuff. Uh, I like them, uh, mostly for commuting. Um, sometimes on a longer run, I'll put that on to hopefully like kind of zone out and like hypnotize myself a little bit. Uh, you probably know them from uh, the intro sequence to um, Mad Men. So that's, how, that's what they did. Uh, Radiohead, I've been listening to Radiohead since uh, Pablo Honey. Um, and it looks like I listened to them last week. Um, FC Kahuna is another one that I usually listen to. Uh, I listened to them a lot more in law school when I was like studying. Um, and then after that, um, it's a lot of like kids stations. Um, so we listen to Kids Bop Kids, uh, Let Me Take You to Rio. I like that that song from the movie. Uh, so I made a station for just that song. Piano Guys Radio is usually pretty good. And then lots of like kind of uh, quieter music sometimes for like ch children's instrumental ensemble. There's a lot on that station, there's a lot of like Guns N' Roses covers, piano or even like the toy piano, um, and like a woman singing in like a lullaby voice. So very interesting. Um, the Lorax is always a, a pretty solid choice for kind of like Saturday afternoon um, with the kids. And then lullaby themes. Um, it actually sings like the lullaby song, like every third song. Then we've got some Thrice, Linkin Park, My Chemical Romance. This is all kind of stuff that I listen to like af after college um, until much after college. So I still listen to it now, um, but they're all kind of like overlapping. So, um, and by now a lot of them kind of like have woven their way into the yellow card channel that I listen to. So like you can see, I don't really go in there that much. It's been like seven weeks since I've been to most of these. And then there is some stuff that I listen to with my wife or used to listen to with my wife. So like uh, not, I mean, we don't really have time to listen to music and we got two kids, so we don't listen to music together anymore. Uh, when we do listen to music together, it's this stuff, uh, <laughs> the kids stuff. Um, but you know, she really likes uh, oldies. Uh, her parents grew up uh, listening to oldies on Friday nights. Um, they would listen to records on the 45 um, and uh, dance in the living room. Uh, and that's kind of what they did for their Friday nights. Um, so this is stuff that I have basically for her. I also like it too. Some of the Ray Charles, Mumford and Sons, is not oldies, but she likes that. I like it too. Frankie Valley, um, And a lot of this is other stuff that either I like and I've listened to, but not for a while, or she likes. So it gets to be kind of a mix down here. Uh, Me First and the Gimme Gimme's I, th I think are, are, are great, uh, that's a great channel. 
Um, but it's already been almost like a year since I listened to it. Um, blues Rock, Chuck Berry. You know, I never. It's the one. One regret I have from living in, in St. Louis is I never went to go see him play. Um, and he played all the time. I used to go to Blueberry Hill where he played, uh, but uh, I would just go to the bar part above it, not to the music venue. Big mistake. Um, Gypsy Kings, that's definitely one my wife likes. Johnny Cash. Uh, and yeah, and that's it. John Williams, my favorite com composer. Um, contemporary classical music also did the music to my favorite movies. Uh, Star Wars and Indiana Jones uh, series, so um, really good. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Those are the stations that are on. Well, I haven't listened to that in a while. I've listened to John Williams before. I'm trying to think. There's another station that I listen to where a lot of maybe it's this Muse Radio. There's another station where a lot of like the John Williams stuff and the stuff that like um, from like the Batman soundtrack and uh, Inception and, and movies like that uh, where those come in. I forget which station it is. It's probably the um, the Muse one. Um, but yeah, those are the stations that I listen to. These go back as far as last listened to except in August 20, 2013. Um, I think you know periodically I do go through and I like delete um, songs uh, or delete stations from Pandora. So this isn't like everything. Um, but this is at least what has survived over the last, I guess, three years. Um, that's what's on my, my Pandora kind of uh, feed. Uh, I'd love to know what's on yours, especially if you have like a guilty pleasure one. Put that in the comments. Um, and um, if it's a guilty pleasure, just own it. Don't make apologies, just own it. And let us know.